Dublin is a city of casual labour, and that is the problem here. For every job in Dublin, there's three men that are willing to do it. There's no voice or recognition of these men either. They're fighting for jobs, and there's problems. Here on the docks, for example, men are frequently paid in public houses. Trade unionism existed on the docks and existed in Dublin before the arrival of Big Jim Larkin. Now, we sometimes talk about Larkin coming to Belfast uh, like he came with trade unionism in hand. Trade unionism was here before Larkin. Indeed, the docks saw rather significant strikes in July of 1900. Strikes that were actually led by Larkin's union, the NUDL, the National Union of Dock Labourers. And here in July 1900, between 1,000 and 1,200 men went on strike, demanding not only a pay increase, but that non-unionised men be removed from their positions. In 1900, on the docks of Belfast, we saw free labour, or scab labour from England, being brought in. And that strike ended in dismal failure for the workers' movement, and ultimately resulted in the breakup of the NUDL in Dublin. But it is important to remember that before Larkin, there was unionism here in Dublin.